Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? All right. Let's label it officially off the record. Got something on your mind? Straight up, there's something wrong with all of this. This Saren is looking for a lost mass relay to who knows where, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, all in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. You were all teenagers. I'm sure you found other ways to occupy the time. I'm not the sort who does that kind of thing, Commander. Not lightly, anyway. There was a girl I spent a lot of time with, but we kept our clothes on. Rana. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. I think you'd have liked her. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never fell together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your Commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a... A whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare-up. Anything I can do? No, Commander. It'll settle down. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Except for you, of course. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. Got a story there, Olenko? You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified, because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, 
Kinetics was set up to track element zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Get your knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else at Jump Zero, it was under the table. The less said, the better. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down in the AA Tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative! Just make sure that nuke is set! We'll hold him as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Heads up, LT. We just got the ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Hold on, Lieutenant. I'm coming back to get you. Negative. There's just too many of them. I don't think we can hold them off. I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Just leave her down there. Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. Get it together, soldier. Ash's blood is on Saren's hands. And when we find that son of a bitch, I'll make him pay. 
Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, sir. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Torfin? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, sir. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. After action debriefs. What we found out about Sovereign. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. It's up to the Alliance to take its proper place. Even if we have to kick its ass to convince it to kick theirs. We're out here trying to save everyone. We can worry about who's king after the dust settles. It'll have to happen sooner or later. The aliens don't want to understand our position. But do we understand theirs any better? I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it, beat the crap out of me, kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose, full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Sat down by a kid. Vernus must have hated that. He didn't have time to hate it. I killed him. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans, too. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Get away! There's nothing we can do. They're gone. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something! I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. It was a good fight, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard. Captain of the Normandy, the first human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a legend, Delan. And a ghost. All the good people we lost and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you Alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. Been too long, Caden. How have you been? 
Is that all you have to say? <sighs> you show up after two years and just act like nothing happened. I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. Thinking you were gone. It was like losing a limb. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now. Garrus, too. I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? You mean you already knew? Alliance Intel thought Cerberus might be behind the missing human colonies. I got a tip this colony might be the next one to get hit. Anderson stonewalled me. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. That you were working for the enemy. Building the defense towers was just a cover story. The Alliance sent you here to investigate me, didn't they? I was here for Cerberus. You were just a rumor. I wanted to believe you were alive, but I never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Caden, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I want to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. They could be using the threat of a Reaper to manipulate you. What if they're behind it? What if they're working with the Collectors? Damn it, Caden. You're so focused on Cerberus that you're ignoring the real threat. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of facts. Maybe. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe you're the one who's not thinking straight. You've changed. But I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. Always will be. I've got to report back to the Citadel. They can decide if they believe your story or not. We both know how that's gonna turn out. The Alliance will try to blame Cerberus, just like you did. A leopard can't change its spots. Cerberus can't be trusted. Goodbye, Shepard. And be careful. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Anderson? Shepard. Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No, I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I suppose I did. Still, it's... It's good to see you. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Shepard, I need a straight answer. About what? Do you know anything about why Cerberus is here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? We join forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Caden. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Lives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator. Helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side. Tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? 
The Major has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. Looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? How can you compare me to him? Shepard, I don't know what you are, or who. Not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For all I know, you could be their puppet, controlled by the elusive man himself. That's not fair, kid. Don't try to explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to Helen back still in there? Somewhere. They didn't change me, Caden. But words won't convince you, will they? Probably not. I didn't think so. You were always stubborn. <laughs> Me? Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. <laughs> medical attention we have to leave the soul system I know the Citadel is our best chance we can find help there get us to the Citadel Joker Roger that. hold on Caden see what you and Edie can learn from that thing Catch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freyloft. Janeiro splints killed a bit. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. 
Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. You seem like a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Come on, Major. Fight. And that's an order. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Odina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? It was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell them. I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm in Doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just wanna make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. We were soldiers, but also friends. Yeah, we were. So what do you say? <sighs> Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Spectre Caden Olenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human Spectre. <laughs> it's humbling. Udina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch onto. You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but I'll do my best. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. You're perfect for the job. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from biotics division. Any luck? No, probably went underground, but they'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. What's that noise? Go! Get down! <laughs> Move! 
Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. I can explain this, Kate. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Udina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. My evidence suggests otherwise. Observe. Here is Counselor Valen being shot in CSEC headquarters. Here is Commander Shepard pulling the trigger. You're gonna pay for that. What more do you need? Shepard. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Shepard, look at us. <sighs> this can't end well. Just... put... it down. You know in your gut that I'm right. Listen to it. Caden, you're always true to what you believe. I admire that about you. Listen to your gut. Udina, step away from the console. To hell with this! He's got a gun! Caden? Yeah, I'm good. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Kate. Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. Never stood gun to gun like that with someone who once had my back. How it all went down, it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is, we stopped the coup, and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later, when you have to live with yourself, knowing that you acted with integrity. And it matters. You're talking about Adina. You think he would have come in quietly? Caden, he gave you no choice. You had to take the shot. You acted with integrity. I saw the whole thing. All right. Thanks. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, sir. <sighs> All seems so calm from here. People going through hell in a million different ways. 
out there. And I want to be fighting alongside them, but... I want to be here. You know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um... He's M.I.A. <sighs> he's presumed. Tell me what happened. Dad's family owns an orchard in the B.C. interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. He left Mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. That's all we know, but... It's, uh... It's enough. She's alone in this now. In... All this. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie. In empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. Haunting me. I get that. I do. And my students. Well. Wherever they are. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or... Somewhere. You know, when this war is over, <laughs> there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seem like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many. The choice to leave someone behind. Until you're in that moment. I... So, yeah, you know, I don't know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help. No matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity. And he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that... That's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how. Or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. 
And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Let's talk. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Pateria and Shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. It's just, you plan a career, you focus, and then suddenly the world's ending and it's too late to, uh, to find someone. Someone? Yeah, someone. Someone strong and confident. Someone I admire and respect and enjoy being with. Someone handsome. <laughs> Taller, I know. But I don't really have to look far. Shepard. That's what I want. What do you want? You and me? Is that what you're saying, Caden? It feels right, doesn't it? Be nice to have someone to turn to when things get grim. Someone to live for. Maybe love. <laughs> someone? You, Caden. <laughs> it does. It does feel right. After all this time. <laughs> you and me. I like that. A lot. And that... makes me so happy. And there are benefits to that happiness. Really? Yes. Really. What'd you call it? A sanity check? Hmm. Sanity check. Seems like you're having a bad day, Shepard. You could say that. <laughs> Landing pad's over there, but it's behind the lock gate. Let's look for a control panel. Nice outfit. Ah, control panel. Right. Nice to see you in action on the car lot. It was... Pretty hot. Why, well, thank you. What would I do without you? <laughs> You'll never find out. Whew. Looking good, Commander. How is it I haven't seen you dressed up like this before? I've got to have some secrets. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresham Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. Did I ever tell you about my casino run-in with the Vorcha Mafia? 5,000 credits and a bottle of whiskey? Actually, never mind. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. We'll just end up back here anyway. Am I right? Trust me. Let me impress you. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> Come on. You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What are we have? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. You like to cook, Shepard? Roommate on Arcturus taught me. 
He said eating cafeteria crap 24-7 was bad for morale. <laughs> Is there anything you're bad at? Where'd you learn to cook? Class is a jump zero, believe it or not. Young biotics who can't cook for themselves risk starving. Did you pass? You're burning the garlic. Sorry. I guess I'm distracted. Bye. I wonder. So? We have hot sauce, right? This was great. What? Is it over? Well, what do you suggest? I think we need to find a way to burn off these calories, don't you? here. Mm. Good morning. Uh, is it morning? I had a great time last night. All night. Let's see if anyone else is up. sleep either? No. Making yourself crazy with this won't help. Kate, I need to... Shh. Just take five minutes. A quick drink. And then I'll go. Shepard, you know that you've done everything you could, right? I hope so. I keep running the numbers to see if I've missed something. You don't have to take this all on yourself. Look to your crew, to the talented people fighting by your side. What you've accomplished since the Reapers arrived is, it's just nothing short of amazing. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be what it is. What are you thinking about right now? Uh, the good times and the, the hard times. <laughs> it's been an unforgettable few years. Yeah, especially the time we've spent together lately. It's just been so intense. It feels like a lifetime. You're exactly what I need right now. Caden. <laughs> I lied. 
I, I didn't come here for a quick drink. What's up? Are we going to make it, Caden? <sighs> We're ready. You've put the people together, the vision, and what you've done, Shepard, is build hope. Well, I'm glad I inspire that in you. But sometimes... You're right. Give us hope and a fighting chance? Hell, the Reapers better watch themselves. Hey, Caden. Hey, there you are. You ready? Absolutely. For anything. Bring it on. And Biotics Division? Your students? <laughs> More than ready. Eager. That's youth for you. Guess we're old soldiers. Hey, eh, Shepard? Yeah. I guess we are. We know the score. We know this is goodbye. When this is over, I'm gonna be waiting for you. You'd better show up. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna fight like hell for the chance to hold you again. Listen, I... there's things I want to say. And looking back, I have a few regrets, but not many. That's pretty damn amazing, right? Messed up kid that I was. Never would have dreamed of the life I've had. And I owe a lot of that to you, you know? It's been quite a ride. It sure has. But how are you doing? scared I've got these bastards in my sights Caden it's them that should be afraid of me <laughs> you're right about that so take care major <sighs> stay safe I should find the rest of my squad. Yeah. You know, I've never been to London.
to argue with me, Caden. Don't leave me behind. No matter what happens, you know that I love you. While we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future. <laughs>